Greetings, Ravens. This is Mrs. Keon and Mrs. Fielder, co-chairs of the LYP committee. We are excited to start a new year with you. The purpose of this video is to outline the expectations for virtual learning experience and to share our school culture, love your people. Our goal during virtual learning is to provide a rigorous STEAM curriculum with a structure that models as closely as possible our classroom experience. And we wanted to just review the e-learning bell schedule with you briefly. This will also be in the student handbook. Monday and Tuesday will follow this specific schedule where you'll meet with each of your teachers and the periods that are shown there. On Wednesdays, you'll have independent learning days. No, those are not days off. Those are days for you or us. Those are days where you will finish assignments and submit them as needed. Instructional focus and remediation will also be provided as needed. If you need special help or specific help in a subject, you need to contact that teacher and they can provide that for you on Wednesdays. Thursday and Friday would follow the same schedule as Monday and Tuesday. During this year, we are going to continue with advisement and clubs. Advisement and clubs are built into our weekly schedule. Advisement will focus on social emotional learning life skills, and virtual adjustment. Advisement will begin on Friday, August 28th. Clubs will begin in October. Students will receive more information later in the year in regards to selecting clubs and their schedule. You will also see the schedule for advisement and clubs. Advisement and clubs will take place on Fridays. You can also find a copy of this schedule located in our student handbook. Let's talk a little bit about virtual learning. Students are gonna be utilizing the platform It's Learning. You're gonna use it to retrieve any work and to submit any work. Everything that you need will be on that platform. We are also gonna utilize Zoom. The schedule that we looked at earlier where it showed your class periods, you'll be meeting with your teachers via Zoom. Um, there are some classroom expectations. You need to be aware that each teacher may have different expectations for their sessions. They will share those with you. You need to take turns speaking or sharing. Be respectful of everyone in the session and just make sure that your background is as quiet and appropriate as possible. Love your people. The STEM Academy has chosen to emphasize the character traits from love your people because we believe in cultivating leadership, teamwork, and gratitude in every aspect of our culture. Our behavioral expectations are aligned with the idea that collaboration requires caring for each other and establishing a common ground for communication. These elements are intended as daily reminders for how we should interact. And we're gonna watch a short video, just kind of um, talking a little bit more about love your people. I wanna encourage you to love your people. The reason is that it all works if we do that. You say love to somebody and they think it's something fluffy. But love isn't just flowers and, and daisies and rainbows. This is a basic reminder for how we should all aspire to interact with each other. Do your work in the way that you wish everyone else would do their work for you. Go and little stuff. That's it. To be on the receiving end of kindness, it's refreshing. It's wonderful, right? It's, it's what we all want. We want that time, that attention, that calm, soothing presence from somebody else. Honesty is a beautiful thing. It's incredible. It's empowering. And it can change a dynamic of a relationship in the most significant way. Encouragement makes me feel accountable for what I want to do. It makes me feel like what I'm doing or what I want to do or what goal I have or what I want to get done is worth it.
that idea of apologizing um, and forgiving. It's just about realizing that they're you, they're also you. They're making mistakes, you're making mistakes. You're not always right, so if, you're, if you have a hint of making a mistake, just say you're sorry. Thanking people shouldn't be tough. You know, that should be a pretty easy one. Thank you. Just stop for a second and look around you and, and, and ask yourself, am I seeing what I'm putting out in the world? Imagine what it would be like if you contributed more, if you were patient or kinder. Imagine if people were more honest with each other and didn't hide behind those half-truths or those omissions or those exaggerations. What if we encouraged each other more often? What if we were to apologize faster you know, forgive each other quicker? What if we thanked each other more? What if today was the day you decide to love your people.